of a project like this, you don't really know the people that you're working with all the time, but by the end of it, we just become one big family. It's the best feeling in the world to be on stage with your friends and your family, really, and to just get to be nervous together and create this great show. We stayed after practices to go through lines. The more we do this, the closer we got. We added all the extra lines and extra moves together. And it turned out really awesome because the audience were loving it. I never thought I would be um, playing all the sound effects, adjusting the volume of every people in the play. But then one day Mr. Ags asked me if I wanted to do it and then I said yes, because I really wanted to do the sound. One year ago when I saw Keske doing it, I had no idea what he was doing. But then this year when Choban explained it to me, it became really easy. It's just listen and see what's wrong or what needs to change. Then you can just do that. If there's a scene with a lot of people, then I can just keep everyone at the same level. But if there's a variety of people, then I have to make sure that some people are louder than others and some are softer. The first time I was really nervous because I thought I'd mess up the sound effects, which I did, but the last time I was not equally as nervous. Well, sometimes I forgot the cues, the sound effects. They were pretty hard for me to play. The guitar mixer adds effects to the guitar. Instead of connecting it to a guitar, we connected it to the Audrey 2, so it sounded like an alien. Choban and I became closer friends. We shared some uh, similarities. On one of the nights, he gave me chicken from Carl's Jr., which was nice. Hela natten och mata mig, mata mig. The most important thing in the market is like actually light. My father said light actually adds color. It can make it look better. First, I have to wait the show to run and I have to see what's happening. And then I can control every light. Maybe next year, I learn how to make lights and maybe I can do it all. There's certain numbers that are descriptive of what's happening in the, in the story. There's certain times when the music paints sonic pictures that correlate to what's happening on the stage. You know, without a, a specific type of song, the, the story wouldn't go forward. Our students were dealing with professional Broadway score. This is something that musicians who would have been playing this show on Broadway would have been reading. Considering that level of difficulty, they did an incredible job. I actually wanted to participate in last production. Keske took my job. I was really upset. I really wanted to take part in this one. Since I'm really good at playing guitar, so there's nothing challenging. People are from different countries. I mean, we have diff different nationalities and different cultures, but we speak a same language called music. I mean, I just find it really amazing and wonderful that how we come together just because of this music. Drama is more important than the cast, okay? I mean, people sometimes don't really notice how important drama is. I mean, I really can't imagine people dancing to a song without drum beat. I'm, I'm just hoping people notice more band. I just 
just love making sets. I love everything about being a part of the production. I don't have a lot of experience on stage, so I never got into that myself, but I've always loved the backstage aspect of productions and everything that goes into it. At the first ECA, brainstorming ideas about how we would want to organize our group of students. So we really wanted to see what we could do to build on Mr. Odenami's outside production and make it our own. I took Mr. Odenami's vision and then I made a bunch of drawings which were drawn using scale so that I could easily communicate with the Chinese builder who may or may not understand my broken Chinese. And then with that, I gave that to the set students. They came up with their own drawings. We just got started painting. Design of the artwork, it's really for the purpose of suiting what the actors need and what the scene calls for. So it's an interesting process working with the director and with students to incorporate their creative ideas um, and make sure that both sides are being respected props that move become like really convincing that it's like a real door. I personally feel proud of myself to be a part of it, um, but then I have the feeling of pride that I feel towards watching the students grow and learn and work together and just become even more confident in what they're doing. do all those actions but I don't have to speak or tell anything. I'm only inside in Act 1 where she sings, get it? It's pretty fun because thing when you operate you feel bigger. It's pretty hot inside also but it's a really good experience. It's harder and easier. It's easy because I don't have to memorize all the lines. It's harder because all you can use is your voice. I think they expected like a more badass looking person <laughs> but it's just a girl with glasses so like when I come out it's kind of like a big surprise for them. It's yeah, pretty exciting when people know that I operate the plant because people don't really get to know me when I was doing the show. There's kind of somebody to interact with and it's pretty fun. When you have to cooperate with people, it's a really exciting thing to do and get, you get to know people better. It's just a big mouth, it only moves up and down, you can't really do anything. Yeah, it's not that hard actually. I tell him about some of the little details, um, but I think he just goes along. There was three characters who ended up in the biggest plant, and there's this hole in the plant where people can slide in just like a slide, so they just slide through behind the scene. For the plant that I wear, they just throw fake ones. There's one that I use my hand, like a puppet. And there's one that I wear, and the biggest one in that too. The song when we sing is so Get It, that's where I do the most actions, which is really tiring, but also really exciting. It makes the audience laugh, and it also makes me really happy. As a person on stage, you have to take a lot more risks, obviously, because there's no editing. Once you've performed it, it's there for everybody to see and you can't go back and do it again. Get other people's back. If they mess something up, you just cover for them. If I mess something up, someone else would cover for me. So it's more like a family taking care of each other. We didn't used to talk so much before, but after the production, you know, we had to interact a lot, laugh together in the rehearsals, go through lines, and we're actually really good friends now. One of the games we did was the bunny bunny game. One person starts and then you just pass on the bunny to the other person and the two people beside the main person have to distract the person doing the bunny bunny. The more you do, the better you get. So it was fun seeing people getting distracted and knowing each other. And it was like, I think the best part of the whole thing. I love you. Shocking, shocking, shocking. After the production, even the teachers got nicer to us. Everybody was so happy with our performance. I just completely formed a new opinion about performing on stage and doing the production. I really want to be the main character in the next musical. Production was great. It's my second year, but still I love it so much. Even though it's really stressful, it's really fun. This is like one of those experiences which when you look at high school, you won't forget. I arranged the whole setup and helped with the sets and the design. I'm Kenny. 
I'm the cinematographer of the show. My name is Wei Yi. I'm Renette. I'm Rochelle. I was Chiffon. Miss Osa. Oren! Maybe we'll take this and go do a world tour. Who knows? Who knows what's in store for us? But we're starting here at SUIS Blue Bay and, and looking forward to bigger and brighter things. From the bottom of my heart, I love you guys all.